Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 15th of december the session will be very important so do pay attention till the end so friends as usual let's start with revision first first is your global water resource report was recently released by world meteorological organization and it was released for the year 2021 highly important all right global world or global water resource report also apart from this remember recently which organization has stated that they will be doing a survey of water resources of the whole earth all right that means of all the water water resources that are present on the earth a survey will be done by which organization it is nasa important one this is the latest current affair that you should remember next is basil joseph as you can see him in the picture has won the best director award at the asian academy creative awards for his minal morali important take a note of this also Next is Shri Shaji KV. He has assumed the chair charge of the chairman of Nabard. So question can be asked that who will be the new chairman of Nabard now? He will be Shri Shaji KV as you can see him in the picture. Next, WHO World Health Organization has appointed Jeremy Farrar as the new chief scientist. And what is the job of chief scientist? It is to manage the other scientists and he will be the head of all the researches that is going on and he will be looking after all the management and the process of the same. So who has appointed or, or Jeremy Farrar has been appointed as the new chief scientist scientist of who and he has been appointed by who only so vice versa the question can be asked next is airbnb airbnb we have told you it is similar to that of oyo it provides the stay similar to that of a hotel but of the residential properties also so this airbnb application or this company organization has signed a memorandum of understanding with department of tourism of government of goa in order to promote the inclusive tourism in the same and if we talk about goa saujo festival is observed here here only national museum for customs and gst is also observed and if you remember in goa mopa a greenfield airport has been recently inaugurated next next you need to remember if asked what is the which organization released a report on malaria this was released by world health organization and in this report it stated that due to covid 19 around 60000 or 63000 people died due to malaria because of the covid disruptions that is your due to the lockdown and all the 
last two years that we faced difficulties that we faced due to the COVID-19, around 63,000 patients of malaria died. And this report was released by World Next, similar to that only now remember International Universal Health Coverage Day. It is observed on 12th of December. Important one. Moving on, next, who has been appointed as the new Vice President of the Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union? He will be the Additional Director General of Prasar Bharti Sunil Ji. As you can see him in the picture, he has been appointed as the new Vice President of the Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union and is currently the Additional Director General of Prasar Bharti. Next, Bhupendra Patel. As you can see him in the picture, he has been the new Chief Minister of Gujarat and he has taken oath as the Chief Minister of Gujarat, Bhupendra Patel. Next, we recently discussed just now that Greenfield International Airport. Where is this inaugurated recently? It is inaugurated in Goa. So, that's all for the revision part, friends. Now, let's talk about the today's current affairs. First is Riset and Vedas. What is this Riset and Vedas? So, remember, recently, a Memorandum of Understanding was signed. And this Memorandum of Understanding was signed by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and the Department of Space to develop Krishi Decision Support System. Highly important. And I want you all to remember, first thing you re what we are saying is that a Krishi decision support system by the name Krishi DSS. Krishi DSS will be developed by whom this will be developed by an MOU that was signed between the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare along with Department of Space. All right. And then if we talk about it, this MOU was signed at the official release of the data products and services of the RISET 1A satellite for the user community in Delhi. All right. Then if we talk about this particular Krishi DSS, this is a decision support system modeled after Gati Shakti using RISET 1A and the visualization of the visualization of the earth observation data and RKL system that is your Vedas let me write here vedas and what is vedas that we just saw riset and vedas were recently launched and this will be the system that will be used by krishi decision support system that is your krishi dss all right and what are they riset 1a and vedas and vedas is your visualization of earth observation data and rkl system all right and what is riset riset is your radar imaging satellite 1a all right highly important friends apart from this remember this these are the all weather satellite that can take high resolution geospatial images regardless of lighting conditions and can penetrate deep into the vegetation so remember for this for this Krishi decision support system a riset and vedas will be used here in this Krishi decision support system and what are they basically these are the satellite that will be taking images so that they will be able to help the farmers in their krishi krishi is basically agriculture only all right in hindi we call it krishi okay next so remember this this is very important next next remember gamocha gamocha that is a symbol of assamese culture and identity has recently been granted with gi tag and what is gi tag geographical indication tag this tag was given by central government and five years after the application that was initially received in the 2017 so after these five years now in 2022 the gamocha that is of assam has recently got the gi that is your geographical indication tag what is a gi tag this is a primarily gi tag is given to a product that originates in a certain geographical location all right, so that is the reason Gamucha that belongs to Assam has recently been awarded this title that is of GI tag. This Gamucha, it is a hand woven rectangle cloth. As you can see, this is a cotton cloth. All right, it is a hand woven cloth with red borders and various designs and motifs. As you can see, red borders and cotton cloth. So this is Gamucha that recently got the GI tag. Next. Next is India and Finland recently signed a joint declaration of intent 
on migration and mobility india and finland signed a joint declaration of intent on migration and mobility in order to reach a mutually beneficial agreement on migration and mobility so direct question if we are talking about migration and mobility an intent on migration and mobility was signed between which two countries it they were india and finland all right remember and rithiva ronde ji is the current ambassador of finland to india next we will be talking about maruti suzuki they have showcased a first mass segment of the flex fuel prototype car and this flex fuel prototype car will be showcased in wagner r that is the wagner car of maruti suzuki in that car they will be using this flex fuel prototype model all right and this will be the first mass segment of flex fuel prototype car in the presence of union minister of road transport and highways nitin gadkari and it will be in new delhi this was developed or it has developed engine management system strategies and emission control system to comply with the bs6 phase 2 emission norms in order to align with the latest government regulation if we talk about this wagner all flex fuel prototype this is an aligned with the government of india's clean and green initiative and has been designed to run on any ethanol petrol ethanol petrol branded between 20% and 85% fuel this car is designed and developed locally by engineers of maruti suzuki with necessary support from suzuki motors corporation japan and if you remember recently a new plant will be opened of maruti suzuki in imt kharkoda can you tell me where is this imt kharkoda this is in haryana next next is global trade surge to record 32 trillion dollar in 2022 as per the united nations report i repeat united nation unctad that is your united nations conference on trade and development in their report that was global trade update for the december month stated that there was an increase in the value of global trade of about 12% all right unctad published this report it was a global trade update for the december 2022 in this report they stated there was an increase of about 12% to an estimated of 32 trillion rupees or uh, 32 trillion dollar in the year 2022 all right also remember the global trade will decline in 2023 as because of the fear of the recession and major projection that are given by various organization all right and we are seeing that the uh inflation also the prices of various goods and commodities all around the world are growing so remember this data can be asked next here you can see trade in the merchandise goods is expected to soar 25 trillion in 2022 and increase about 10% from 2021 trade in services will grow 15% year on year nearly to 7 trillion dollar and the reason behind this increase in the trade of 2022 is resilient global demand and improvements in the logistics of global trade and fruitful trade agreement see if in talking about india's condition first thing that you need to know is that india is having a very cheap labor so effect of the recession here will be less then second thing you need to remember that india is an emerging economy and we have seen that many countries are now relying on india and india has somewhere turned out to be a mediator between the war of ukraine and russia because india tried to resolve the issue all right so that is the reason somewhere we can see india will become a very Uh, or we can say the growth of india will be very high as you have seen in this year also and in the coming years because of the similar reason just i just mentioned and various initiatives that are started by the government of india for the ease of doing business and make in india concept new businesses new msmes are coming up that will help india to sustain the same next next is singapore becomes the most expensive city and india copes with the expenses next thing you remember this the data this news most expensive city earlier it was tel aviv that is of the capital of israel but now tel aviv was is on the third position now in terms of the most expensive city and now in country in the whole world i mean to say whole world which is the city that is the most expensive city it is singapore next thing this data about the most expensive city was released by which organization it was eiu that is your 
economist intelligence unit that has released this worldwide cost of living index that is WOC or WC well that is worldwide cost of living index this was released by whom EIU that is economist intelligence unit and it stated that Singapore was the most expensive city here then here you can see New York has stopped the ranking for the first time along with Singapore which has stopped the list eight times in 10 years and Tel Aviv of Israel which topped the list has secured the th third rank in this particular index highly important so on first position Singapore on second position New York and on third position is your Tel Aviv then if we talk about the top 10 countries here you can see in the index Zurich or uh, Switzerland was on sixth Geneva was on seventh San Francisco eighth Paris ninth Copenhagen and Sydney are on the 10th position if we talk about Indian cities like Ahmedabad Chennai and Bangalore are among the bottom 10 positions of the index ranked at 165th 4th and 161 respectively next next is WHO GCTM what is this WHO GCTM and we have been discussing this news for a very long time that WHO has recently set up a global center for traditional medicine and where is this this is in Jamnagar Gujarat if we talk about the same remember this global center for traditional mentorship was launched in order to act as a mentor for the development and shaping health research agenda to establish research methodology to create norms and standards and guidelines in the same in the research domain to build partnership and collaboration with who to act as guiding principle in developing guidelines for health technology assessment and economies so this is very important friends and i want you all to remember that this global center for traditional medicines will be set up in jamnagar gujarat with the help of who next here you can see this WHO GCTM is an outpost center of WHO headquarter funded by the government of India. This will help to establish strong linkages among the member of states of WHO. This would emerge as the global wellness center that would promote the development of traditional medicines, medications and research and increase in the evidence based research training and awareness about traditional medicines in this india has committed with an investment of 250 million dollar as the primary investor in wh in this the global center for traditional medicine and this will include 35 acres of land in jamnagar gujarat for a new building and premises in 2024 and in term office and 10 years funding for gctm running cost all right next next is recently a very uh, important or a breakthrough in the science you can say because recently US has confirmed their major breakthrough in the nuclear fission see there are two types of uh, and uh, fissions one is nuclear one is or you can say two types of nuclear energy they are generating one is your nuclear fission and next second is your nuclear fusion what Sun uses is your ne uh, nuclear fusion and that is the reason why we are excited and it is a breakthrough considered because because of this now it is stated that we will be able to generate clean energy and the amount of energy that is required to do this nuclear fission the output of it will be more than the energy that will be the input and it will be clean energy that is the reason why we are excited in this generation in this times when we are fighting all around the world because of the energy uh, for gas natural gas petroleum and this has turned out to be one of the biggest source of uh, energy that we can see in the future because we are focusing on now on clean and renewable energy and fusion energy this nuclear fusion is also a clean energy so first thing let's see this nuclear fusion it is a man-made process that replicates the same energy that powers the sun it is described as the holy grail of energy production this nuclear happens how this nuclear fusion happens when two or more atoms are fused into one large atom and this is the process that generates a large amount of energy as heat here only you can see the scientists have recently successfully produced a nuclear fusion reaction resulting in the net energy gain this is the term that is important in the net energy gain earlier we used to produce nuclear fission but there was a no net energy gain but now for a long time we have been seeing with the researches that now the scientists are able to have a net energy gain through this nuclear fusion in this nuclear fusion the project across the globe mainly uses the element deuterium and tritarium both of which are the isotopes of hydrogen all right important 
so remember this it was nuclear fission and what is nuclear this is nuclear fusion and what is nuclear fission when a single atom is divided into smaller atoms next next is european union has agreed to grant bosnia the membership candidate status so recently which which is the new country that will be part of european union it will be bosnia highly important directly you need to remember apart from this remember european unions general affairs minister from the 27 eu nations have agreed bosnia and herzegovina candidate status so to both of them bosnia and herzegovina they both will be getting a the candidate status for eu next next is cbdt exempts nr tax payers from mandatory from 10f e filling now i repeat cbdt that is your central board of direct taxes has exempted who are nrs the non resident tax payers from mandatory electronic filing of the form 10f until 31st of march 2023 this will be applicable to those non resident tax payers who are not having a permanent account number and are not required to have a pen as per relevant provisions of the income tax act of 1961 these tax payers can form uh, can fill the form 10f till 31st of march 2023 in manual form and if we talk about this why is this form 10f required this is required because the tax payers are required to provide a tax residency certificate to avail the benefits of the double taxation avoidance agreement between their country of the residence and india in respect of any income earned in india so now they are exempted and they can fill it manually by 20 uh, 31st of march 2023 next is hdfc bank hdfc bank to acquire 7.75 percent stake in the fintech startup that is mintalk i repeat mintalk innovations or mintalk this is a fintech startup and recently hdfc bank has planned to acquire 7.75 percent stake in this mintalk startup all right and they will be buying this for around 31.14 crore rupees mintalk is offering a payment led platform offering value added services to merchants to engage with their customers and for acquiring to enhance their engagement with merchants through digital engagement all right mark this next asian development bank asian development bank has trimmed the economic growth forecast for the developing asia and has retained the india's gdp growth rate for the fiscal year 23 to be 7% i repeat for other asian countries asian development bank has a uh, slashed or reduced that is trim means reducing the global uh, growth rate for those asian countries but for india the gdp growth rate is ex still expected to be around at 7% for the fiscal year 2023 so it was asian development bank that has recently released a report that was asian development outlook supplement for 2022 december global gloom dims asian prospectus in this it stated that the asian economic growth at 4.2% in 2023 from 4.3 that was earlier projected in september 2023 for 2023 also it also declined from 4.6% Uh, to 4.6 percent that was earlier projected to be 4.9 percent all right then remember asian development bank has lowered its forecast for inflation in the developing asia and the pacific to 4.4 percent that was earlier to be 4.5 percent next next is india will be the first to hold the satellite spectrum auction and this data was released by or this information was released by tri chairman that is your Telecom Regulatory Authority of India's chairperson Dr P D Vaghela ji has recently announced that India Satcom India Satcom 2022 that will be the 8th international summit of the broadcast indian forum that india will be the first country in the world to auction satellite communication spectrum highly important friends question can be asked that which will be the first country to auction the satellite communication spectrum it will be our india and the aim here is to attracting the investment in the satcom sector if we talk about this particular advantages of this satcom that is your satellite communication satcom has the ability to bridge the digital divide in india and also increase the broadband penetration across india satellite systems can support 5g broadcast technologies and content for multiple vertices and which was the first country to launch 5g in india 
एयरटेल आई ओ टी दैट इज इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स ऑन सेटेलाइट्स एंड नैनो सेटेलाइट्स आर एंटिसिपेटेड टू बूस्ट द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोवाइडिंग कनेक्टिविटी अक्रॉस इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एनेबलिंग द फ्यूचर सिक्स जी कैपेबिलिटी नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज एफ आई ई ओ एफ आई ई ओ इज योर द फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन एक्सपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो रिसेंटली एफ आई ई ओ रिसेंटली साइंड अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद शिप रॉकेट टू सपोर्ट द एम एस एम ई एक्सपोर्ट्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू इंक्रीज द एक्सपोर्ट्स इन ऑर्डर टू सपोर्ट दोज एम एस एम ईज विद दियर एक्सपोर्ट दिस एम ओ यू वॉज साइंड विद एम एफ आई ई ओ अलॉन्ग विद शिप रॉकेट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स ऑल राइट then remember here ship rocket will offer solutions to enquiries and services issues of the fieo members through its dedicated help desk this will offer also logistic related services and also store holders and fieo members which will include domestic shipping warehousing management they will be providing fulfillment services and marketing tools also if we talk about fieo who is the director general and ceo dr ajay shah where is the headquarter it is in new delhi and when was this established it was in 1965 when this was established next next if we talk about some awards spicejet awarded safety performer of the year award highly important which is the airline that was awarded with the safety performer of the year it is your spice jet it was during the gmr delhi airport awards of 2022 this award acknowledged its performance among the self handling airlines and its effort to reduce the ground safety violence significantly the airlines was audited by the international civil aviation organization that is icao so other question becomes that which is the organization that monitors the safety of airlines or aircrafts and everything it is your icao and it is the reason that is the reason due to which spicejet was awarded with this safety performer of the year 2022 award moving on next next is jindal steel and power has won the fiki csr award for first or for fight against covid 19 i repeat it is your jindal steel power that was honored by fiki that was honored by fiki and highly important what is the reason that this was awarded by uh, fiki to jsw the reason or gsp that is your jindal steel and power the reason is that they fought against covid 19 bravely this award was presented by the union tribal affairs minister arjun munda ji to the company executive in new delhi moving on next next is cindy hook appointed as the ceo of 2032 olympic organizing committee i repeat cindy hook as you can see her in the picture she is an american executive she was appointed as the ceo that is your chief executive officer of the organizing committee for the 2032 olympic organizing committee and this was uh, she was appointed to this position of ceo in brisbane australia then remember 2032 organizing committee held its first board meeting in april 2020 coming back if we talk about cindy hook cindy hook moved to uh, sydney in 2019 to lead the audit, uh, auditing practices for 6 years then also remember she became the first ceo or first female ceo of one of the big four firms in 2015 that is the ceo of deloitte australia all right and now she will become the ceo of the 2032 olympic organizing committee next next remember recently kalyani rafale advance system that is kras has rolled out the medium range surface to air missile medium range surface to air missile kit and this was launched for indian armed forces highly important friends remember where was these launched question can be asked hyderabad telangana based company kalyani rafale advance system kr AS has rolled out this 100th medium range surface to air missile mid section kit for the Indian armed forces as you can see here in the picture 
highly important friends all right in 2019 kras received an order for supplying mid section of 1000 mr scms the deal was worth 100 million dollar it is provided to the armed forces to strengthen the make in india initiative all right if we talk about this mr scm this is an advanced network centric combat high response quick reaction vertical launch supersonic missile that was designed or that is designed to neutralize the enemy aerial threats they can be aircraft missiles helicopters uavs drones etc all right and this will have a range of up to 70 kilometers next national energy conservation day when do we observe this on 14th of december we observe national energy conservation day highly important next next comes your usdma that is your uttarakhand state disaster management authority and meteorological center that is your imc that is your india's meteorological center has signed a memorandum of understanding at dehradun uttarakhand at the dmcc hall to strengthen and diversify the weather forecast network in uttarakhand so simple in language in order to increase or in order to strengthen the weather forecasting network in uttarakhand for that reason uttarakhand state disaster management authority signed a memorandum of understanding with meteorological center or india meteorological center where was this signed at dmcc hall in dehradun uttarakhand so simple to remember this mou has been signed for the next 5 years for the installation of equipment for collecting weather data from different places in the states so that's all you need to remember now friends that's all for the day let's go for a quick revision department of space and agriculture department signed a memorandum of understanding to develop krishi dss assamese gomacha has got the gi tag after 5 years and it was first filed in 2017 india and finland signed a joint declaration of intent on migration and mobility maruti suzuki shukast wagner that will be india's first mass segment flex fuel prototype car global trade will surge 32 or has surged to 32 trillion dollar in 2022 according to uncted's global trade update for december 2022 economic intelligence units wcol index was released and here that is your cost of living index index in this singapore secured the first position new york become the second position and on the third position it was tel aviv and they are the most expensive cities in the world world health organization global center for traditional medicine is in jamnagar gujarat and this will emerge as the center of global wellness us has confirmed major breakthrough in the nuclear fusion and this will be promising clean energy in future next european union agrees to grant bosnia and herzegovina as the membership candidate status cbdt has exempted non resident taxpayers from mandatory form 10 e uh, 10f e filing till march 31 2023 hdfc bank has acquired 7.75% stake in mintock for 31 crore rupees adb asian development bank has trimmed the economic growth forecast for developing asia to 4.2% in 2020 and it has retained india's fiscal year 23 gdp growth rate at 7 percent government of india has repaid the il and fs loans to adb to fulfill commitment india to be the first country to auction satellite spectrum satcom then fieu signed a memorandum of understanding with ship rocket to support the msme exports spicejet awarded safety performer of the year award highly important during the gmr uh, delhi airport awards for 2022 next cindy hook became the a power has been appointed as the ceo of the 2032 olympic organizing committee nsc and bsc gave in principal approval to hdfc limited to transfer ncds to hdfc bank kras ruled out the 100 mr sam that is your medium range surface to air missile mid section kit for indian armed forces iucn andaman smoothhund and himalayan fertility among 29 threatened species in india and iucn is your india uh, indian union for conservation of nature i repeat it is not indian international union for conservation of nature all right and these are the organize this is the organization that releases your red data book 
नेक्स्ट इज नेशनल एनर्जी कंजर्वेशन डे ऑन फोर्टीन ऑफ दिसंबर एंड यू एस डी एम ए एंड म्यूटोलॉजिकल सेंटर साइन अ मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू कलेक्ट लोकेशन स्पेसिफिक वेदर डाटा इन देहरादून सो फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम फॉर होमवर्क नाउ फर्स्ट इज वेन इज द यूनिसेफ डे ऑब्जर्व सेकेंड विच इज द फर्स्ट डेट टू लॉन्च इट्स डेडिकेटेड क्लाइमेट चेंज मिशन थर्ड वॉट इज द थीम ऑफ इंटरनेशनल माउंटेन्स डे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फोर्थ विच सिटी विल होस्ट नेशनल कॉन्क्लेव ऑफ यूनिवर्सल हेल्थ कवरेज फिफ्थ विच सिटी इज द होस्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट जी ट्वेंटी फाइनेंस एंड सेंट्रल बैंक डेप्यूटीज मीटिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस फ्रेंड्स आई वॉन्ट यू हेयर टू टेल मी ऑल्सो दैट विच इज द फर्स्ट डेट प्लस विच इज द टारगेट ईयर टारगेट ईयर ऑफ बिकमिंग कार्बन न्यूट्रल एंड टू शिफ्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट फ्रॉम नॉन रिन्यूएबल सोर्सेज टू रिन्यूएबल एनर्जी सो वॉट विल बी द टारगेट ईयर फॉर दिस एंड वॉट विल बी द टारगेट ईयर फॉर कार्बन न्यूट्रल ऑल्सो सो दीज आर योर फाइव होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द असाइनमेंट सो ऑल्सो इफ यू फाइंड द सेशन टू बी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यू इफ यू फाइंड द सेशन टू बी यूजफुल डू लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट बिलो एंड इफ यू फाउंड that this session should continue in the future also then comment below and let us know what are your views and that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue